Welcome back to the Margaret River Pro. Round three underway. And three incredible surfers out in the lineup. Coco Ho, the first to have a shot at putting a big score on the board here. Great style. Some strong performances already in this contest, but she's going to take a fall on this opening ride. Third place in this round three exchange will be knocked out of the contest. Here goes Tyler. A flatter section. She does well to get a nice roundhouse cut back in. Having to negotiate a lot of bump on that second move as she brings it through to the inside. Strong float to finish. Right there on the rocks. Flexes as well as Tyler Wright. Impressive takeoff from her under the lip. Right in front of her competitor, Coco Ho. Lays down that cut back. But all three of these waves in this opening exchange, Tyler does well to hang on here. But with those rocks before, I know Sage was telling it about us about that earlier this morning. And Joanne DeFay on her first ride. Good looking section. Did well to get that board up there onto that pocket. And she's going to jump off on the inside there. So a 35 minute heat for these three competitors. They've got to finish in the top two to get into the quarterfinals. And then Joanne DeFay. So we have had a number of waves ridden already in this third round heat. Joanne DeFay making connection with that lip too. So two moves for Joanne and gets taken out. By Get your thoughts on that opening exchange in a moment. But right now, Coco on wave number two, driving up into the pocket. Does well to hang on to that move. Bit of foam on the face here. This wave is turning pretty ugly at the moment. But she is going to stick with it. Kicking off on the inside there. Let's have a look at the replay of Coco here. The only way Coco was able to stay on her feet is that compact style that she had. Had she been fully extended, I think she would have lost her balance on that one. But Well, back to live action now. Tyler Wright, big bottom turn. Didn't really connect with that first section. We'll try and make up points down the line. Grabs that rail, gets nice and low and drives through the turn. Floating re-entry there to set up this section. And she clouts it on the inside and again, just not afraid to really show the judges that she has control of these maneuvers on that end section. <laughs> oh no, what's going on here? Oh, this is... On the outside. Deja wow. vu, Ronnie. This is almost the exact, or I mean, flip the scenario from Bells Beach in the same round. Coco and Joanne trying to share a wave and that is not allowed in the rules. Been a lot of wave sharing going on uh, around the event at the moment, but have a look at this. Joanne DeFay live action. Couldn't stick that one. Plenty happening. Tyler Wright on the inside. I think she was opting for a board change. Impeding that scoring potential. There's a display there on the beach, so maybe Coco just thought she saw White. And here we go, live action. Tyler Wright up. As we mentioned, she's already amassed enough points to get herself into the quarterfinals. But that's not going to stop her from uh, trying to put together a solid performance here. No. So Tyler Wright on that second piece of equipment. Wow, beautiful surfing from her. Explosive. She has such a good connection with this break. She's made the final a number of times, taking out an event win here. Have that interference. The read that she's been having on these lines out at main break, just throwing that tail, beautiful style from Coco, compact in every sense of the word, two dynamic different maneuvers. That's what happened in round three at Bells Beach. Joanne made it through with an interference. Well, Joanne is going to try and shut it down for Coco Ho here. As we mentioned, she only needs a 3.51 to put it out of reach. Tagging this one through to the inside. Just over 20 minutes to go. Is that going to do it for her? 100% running without a doubt. Really, it hasn't been because they've, they've been aggressive. I think there's just been confusion on both occasions yeah. when that has gone down. Tyler up at the moment and wow. really starting to feel the freedom that comes with knowing you're already through to the quarterfinals. That first turn was monster. Incredibly, just technically sound surfing from Tyler Wright. Just such a pleasure to see Tyler Wright when she gets on this kind of form. See her just swing those arms around. And then the momentum she carries out of it just by 
sheer force of that swivel. Beautiful timing. She has that intention set already. Just goes into it super low and then has that compactness to just bring it all the way around. So much power. Been able to do so well is harness all of that and make it technically sound. Well, here we go, Joanne Defay up. Sitting in second spot at the moment, chasing a 5.73 to get herself into the lead. A really strong finishing turn there on the inside for Joanne. Uh, you know, has uh, an indication of who's going to meet up with who in the quarterfinals. So Joanne Defay, beautiful finishing turn, just laying that back arm in the face of the wave. As the surfers kind of got tangled up in each other's path. But at the end of the day, it probably wasn't worth swinging on either way. Better off fighting your way into the heat with, with scores and on surfing. Tyler right up at the moment. Already has the lead, but can shut Joanne to fade down. She was trying to get rid of a six there. Coco up again. I mean, what can she do? The best she can get is a 10, and that's still not going to be enough. Seven minutes to go here, Joanne DeFay swinging. She's looking for a 5.73 out of this ride, certainly an attainable score. Nice section standing up here, Joanne whips that board through a nice turn. Doesn't really get a, an end section to play with. She's going to kick out just on six and a half minutes to go. That might not be the number she needs, but you can tell she's surfing well. She finds a bit more space out there. Let's see Joanne DeFay gets this entry into this way does well to ride through those lumps 5.73 to get her ahead of Tyler Wright huge turn from her there until the bitter end for that that world title for anyone this season well let's check that form out now that flair that Tyler has on show when she gets to the end of these calves she swings that tail around that second move was so strong. And it feels like she made a bit of an adjustment after that round two heat. I think she also has to think about the big numbers that the surfers like Carissa Moore, Steph Gilmore were laying down in, in the earlier stage of this round. I think she wants to get her name in the hat for the best heat of the day, the best heat total of the day. The judges set the scale for every heat and take into consideration those changing conditions. That's true. Something you definitely got to consider. Coco Ho there just throwing something at us. Be interesting to have a chat to her and just get the lowdown on what she actually saw on the beach because it, it was an uncharacteristic mistake. There might be more to it as Joanne drives up into the pocket here. Moves a lot of water. She gets a solid finish here. She might just get that 573 she needs to get into the lead. That wave just, again, sort of fizzled out on the inside. Incredible rides. This one right here, slashing in front of her competitor's face, so adding insult to injury. And then just not finding that same. Now Tyler right. Nice little fin drift there to get started for Tyler. Up into the pocket once again and absolutely clubs that section. Swings the tail around. Well, this might be the best wave of the heat. That was pretty solid surfing, especially on the inside there. Beautiful. Just swinging that tail, like you said, showing that point of difference. Second section. So Tyler Wright just drifting the tail there, riding out of it and having to negotiate around that section. But then that's the club. She just took to that section and beat it down and then found a third maneuver going to do that with that last wave just under two minutes ago coco riding this one through to the left nice little backhand belt but she's going to start making her way in now just a minute and 40 seconds to go waiting on the numbers to come through yeah devastating for coco ho she's going to wrap up her australian leg have a bit to think about before she heads to brazil for the next stop of the tour Solid performance from Tyler Wright despite busting a board and getting on a backup. A heat score total of 14.06.